is a seating side table, which we know we, there was a problem, problem about the seating area. So a seating side table that will turn over, which you can put your business work, as since we know that there's so many business fights, a lot of people want to work on their desktop or uh, paper writing, and they don't want to put that in their laps or anything, so why not have a seating side table? As also food, so customers can feel more comfortable and stay in the gate area. And on the further sides, we'll talk more about this solution. Our next solution is um, a Delta Dasher. So we want people to stay in the gate. So why not bring food to you? We don't want people to stay, lo to stay lost in the airport or just have dealing with time or lose their flight. So we decided to create a Delta Dasher that will come by managed by Delta employees. So this can become a better um, so so solution towards um, the, the Delta Dasher. So people will feel more comfortable and they can gain food and that. And also the Delta Dasher will be run also by an app so it could be concluded together and have more efficiency towards ordering their food. And also a time request so their food will come more faster. These both uses can come together because um, using the seat side table, they can put their food there and again, as I said, eat it more comfortable. So speaking of our two solutions, we want to talk about why we think these would work. Um, starting off with the seating, we think the customer experience would be great. One saying that it would be more comfortable for them. And so like if they want to do any work to do, I know there's people that go out for business or if not for eating. And it'll, be, it'll provide a clean environment since they have a more comfortable space to eat or work at, which most travelers would want. And for DoorDash, we think it'll be a great customer experience because Delta will be in complete control and us knowing that Delta invested in their employees will know that the customers will have a great experience with them. And, and if, if it's any problem with expenses, insurance, or any cost, and we thought something that they could do is create a partnership with DoorDash. And it'll be, it'll, we thought it would apply to our main focus, which is keeping people at the gate area. And it'll be really efficient since it's quick and easy and won't come in use. And as also she was talking about the financial problem. So y'all might wonder why y'all might wonder like who 
is Delta Dash gonna partner up with also like the fast foods or the restaurants and the airport? Well, we decided that we should make an agreement towards so if there's any problems, they'll read the agreement towards the laws or rules so nothing can have a problematic towards um, the customers in the Delta Dasher. And here, as you see, we created an app design and if you wanna pull out your phones and use a QR, QR code sign, so it could show how we designed the app. The app basically has where you can put your airplane airplane time ticket. So for example, if you have a 7, 7 a.m. flight, you could put it there and your food will come more faster. More faster so you could get your food and never lose your flight. We're gonna give you a few seconds to use it. Oh wait, they have Delta Dash. <laughs> they have McDonald's here. Oh really? I want some. I'll get you a ten piece chicken nugget meal. Okay. It said I'll get here in a couple minutes. Okay. Five minutes later. Thank you for choosing Delta Dash. I hope you enjoy your food and have a nice flight. Thank, thank you. you. Here, ten piece chicken nugget. Oh, thank you, Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> That's a de quick demonstration of how it would look like. It will be quick and easy, and you'll have a great experience with your Delta Dash. Uh, thank you for listening to our presentation. Hi, my name is Trinity Cervantes. Our members of our group consist of Al Castillo, Esmeralda Rios, Miracle Roses, and Shamara Robinson. And this is our presentation, Delta Innovation. Here we have our table of contents. These are the steps that we took to create our presentation to effectively and efficiently communicate our ideas with you. We first provided our roles and responsibilities, research about the company, thought thoroughly about our case challenge question, we thought out our process, we then created our two by two matrix chart, we received our survey results, created our solution, and created a visual representation and poster. <laughs> so for this case challenge, we were divided into roles based upon strength. Trinity is the team leader, Shamira is the role manager, uh, Miracle is the chef's editor, uh, <laughs> Al Castillo is the research director, and I'm the med um, material manager, sorry. I think you met Sh um, chief slide editor, but I guess that works too. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. So a little background about what Delta is and their company. So Delta was founded on March 2nd, 2nd, 1945, and funded by this guy named Cole E. Woman. They were built with a strong core value, which you can see up there, is integrity, honesty, leadership, leadership, and perseverance some of the strongest core values that I've honestly seen so far. The case challenge question was how can Delta improve the gate experience for customers to enhance customer loyalty? Basically saying what well, can they modify or change to help the gate more, more overall like having people wanting to come back and having it enjoyable. Um, so this is our two by two matrix that helped us throughout the process. For our high and low, we had expanding the gates. For our low low, we had adding more Delta employees. For our low high, we had remodeling. And finally, for our high high, we had create a comforting environment, providing clothes for coming to you, providing a play place for children, and providing a fun place for adults who are introverts and extroverts. Our thought process was to really think about our problem. We then created, came up with possible solutions that could help the, 
the challenge. We then created a survey and got our results. Then from our survey results, we created a poster and a model to visually represent how our solutions would work. So our solution, we created, we came up with four solutions to this problem, this problem, the big thing. The, the play place for play place, it's tongue twister, for children and maybe even up to young adults, I don't know, that's weird, up to teenagers to enjoy themselves while being in this er, line. Okay, <laughs> food stand. And the second solution was food stands. This food stands would make it more enjoyable and be able to yeah, be able to get to the to the food place faster without the need to get up and you know not be comfortable as comfortable as you would be. And then we have the introvert extrovert group. Basically, saying um, if someone is more comfortable, like being around a lot of people before their flight, they're able to go to the extrovert room where there are games and pool tables and a bunch of places where people can socialize. Basically, saying. Like it'll help people maybe be less nervous and overall just give them a better environment rather than people who are introverts who enjoy having their own space being by themselves they can have a quiet place to chill out and relax overall and just be calmer overall we thought that just because like our ideas they are kind of different but we thought that compared to other people who um decide to like give passes or give watches we thought that not a lot of people are going to want to pay for them they're only flying maybe once or twice overall and there's no point in spending a lot of money because flights are really expensive as it is so we thought overall like this would be something more for the airline to pay for that they could get back with um like loyal customers and members as well as in the extrovert room they can start um the actual flyers or people who are flying can start social networking so overall it'll be better and for both company and um, consumer On today's viewing of what everybody's favorite candy or snack is, we have Miss Kangle, Coach Paqua, Mr. Hefner. Okay, Miss Kangle, what is your favorite snack? I love Milky Ways. Snickers. <laughs> Although it is a hard choice, I feel that I'll have to go with the Reese's Peanut Butter. Ooh. Oh, next question. What is your favorite snack? My favorite snack is anything salty. Lay's plain potato chips. I will have to go with your uh, Doritos and chocolate milk, preferably this week. Together? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's your favorite snack? My favorite snack? I think they're called dollar What's your favorite snack? My favorite snack are chewy chocolate chip cookies. What's your favorite sweet candy? Skittles. And this concludes our update of what is people's favorite snack and candy. <laughs> so basically we took a survey um, with all the data, overall like 311 people and Shabaya is coming around with all of the data that we took. We had nine questions and we basically asked people what their favorite snack was, what was their favorite um, restaurant, have they ever flown before, should they have flown, who they flew with, and we actually decided to make it more interactive so we went around and asked our school teachers what their favorite snack or candy was and we went around and collected all of that data. So then we have our model, which is the Play Place model, which was made as a well. So, Miracle, how many kids use tablets? 75% of kids use tablets. So, society today has normalized kids from starting from the ages of two to have tablets or any electronic devices. But there's some parents that really don't like their kids being exposed to social media at such a young age. So we thought that in the play place they could be, it would help the parents relax if they have extra time. If they got there really early, if their flight got delayed, it helped the kid relax and get entertained while they wait. And it would also help the parents have time to their own. And also the food stands 
would help you not go as far while you're waiting for your flight and every hour, every two hours, they can bring food from restaurants so they can keep supplying that stand since it won't be full on restaurants. And we also think that comfort, comfort seating would be helpful because all of this put together would make loyal customers and then want to come back. And overall, we just think it's the best idea for the airline. So it won't be completely changing everything, but it will be um, including more people and as well as being more affordable. And then we have the other poster. It's the introvert extrovert room that I was talking about earlier. Basically, it's just a diagram or a model so you can better see it with one side being the extrovert room, having a pool table and TVs all over, and then another room where it's more calmer and overall safer place with most people with a library and a suiting, comfortable chair. Um, thank you overall. If you have any questions, Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is David. And I am the group leader. My name is Gio, and I am the research director. My name is Valerie, and I am the role manager. My name is Serena, and I'm the chief staff director. And my name is Adrian, and I'm the material manager. Delta Airlines is a US globally airline leader of products services, innovative, and reliability, and customer service. It's powered by 800,000 employees around the world. It invests in its own people. So the challenge question was, how can we help Delta Airlines improve the gate experience, and in turn, their customer experience? Right here is our matrix. Uh, uh, analytical tool. Um, we put our ideas in this uh, matrix, uh, the ideas that we as a group have came up with. Um, these two ideas are in the high low. These two ideas ended up in the high low because these two um, increase the customer experience but do not, um, it does not do anything for um, the brain efficiency. And we chose these three or yeah, these two ideas for the high hand. Um, for the seats, our idea for the seats was to when you buy your ticket, it also gives you an option to choose the seat you would like to sit at. So the seats will have a number and when you buy your seats uh, when you buy, when you choose which seat you would like to sit at, when you get to the airport, you will know which seat you will sit at. You will also get to choose who who you would like to sit at. Uh, for example, if I mean if you're going with a if you're going with a family, you guys uh, will have um, you guys will choose um, number seats for, to sit with, and it will cause less traffic, and there will be. Um, more room. Um, for the lanyard, um, is there anything? We chose the lanyard to help track where the customer is at all times. So when their plane starts to board, they will know when and what time to go. It will help them have a GPS where they can travel through the, airlock, the airport from the food areas and wherever they else they are. Our chair solution. We chose our chair solution because it uh, increases the customer experience as well as uh, makes the boarding more efficient. Uh, uh, this solution would decrease the amount of uh, foot uh, travel around the gate and would allow more room around the gate for freedom. So uh, let's try this out. So we would like to show you guys an activity that we as a group um, have chosen.
So with everybody with a with a card, or not with, with a card, please come up here to the stage and sit over here, please. Instead of a PowerPoint for our presentation, and the then the the idea we thought of, of how to make Delta's game experience much more better was to combine a snack bar and an arcade together. See, we decided to do an arcade because we thought, well, I think people would like to let their inner child self out, and it'll be more enjoyable, and it'll be in the games as well. And then. Um, in the little arcade little machines that Delta and a video game company can combine. And then every time there's a flight for Delta uh, pop, well, coming in, like let's say 
Delta's gate 402 is, um, is departing, please go over there and check in. And then there'll be a little notification popping up because again, you will hear all those little sounds of games and stuff, um, but yeah. With the concept of the snack bar, you have to understand that before you go to your gate, there's like obviously gonna be other places that are gonna be selling food, but those foods are overpriced with the snack bar. It's affordable, it's convenient, and it's already at the gate. So you'll be on time for your flight and you won't be risking missing it. So I might as well just get something at the snack bar than just leaving the gate, risking missing the flight, and risking wasting all this time. With the indoor playground, we reviewed it very thoroughly and we came to the conclusion that having an indoor playground would be kind of a bad idea since like the kids will be screaming and all that and people that just want to have like a rest like, they don't want to be hearing all the kids scream, so that's basically <coughs> And the reason why we thought of our idea of having, of making the model instead of doing our PowerPoint, like an eight slide PowerPoint about it, is that we really wanted to be creative of, okay, Delta needs help, what can we do, and how can we show it? <coughs> instead of, okay, well, here's the, like, big idea, but not really a, um, picture of it, so we decided to do that. We started thinking outside the box. And um, yeah, we, 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 let, we let ourselves be very creative and it helps us like work together as an, actually a team instead of, okay, let's do one slide and then we'll do the other slide and the other. No, we work together as teamwork. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And the next slide will show that Delta buys only, because you know. <laughs> It's Delta Vibe, not negative, just Delta Positive Vibe. <laughs> uh, thank you. Is there any more questions?